Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my garden vlog. Today, we're talking about the joy and the excitement of watching our baby rose to grow, and the tough decisions we sometimes need to make. There's an unparalleled joy in seeing a bud on a baby rose. But then, we face a dilemma: Should we let the bud grow, or should we perform this budding to allow the plant to focus on becoming fuller? It's a tough choice, indeed. I've decided to go with this budding this time. Why? You ask. It's because, right beneath this bud, I can see several nodes. Waiting to burst into life. I'm choosing to delay the joy of seeing this flower bloom. To give these nodes a chance to rapidly grow into new branches. This choice would allow the entire plant to mature quicker. And what are we sacrificing? Just two more weeks of waiting for the bloom. I believe. It's a wait worth its while, because I know it will reward me with many more flowers in the future. Remember, this budding should be performed when the bud is small. If the bud has already grown big, dead heading is needed, which requires removing three nodes underneath the bud. Over in the corner of my garden, I've spotted another rose. It has a single long branch, topped with a bud, counting up from the base. I spot six nodes that I want to keep, hoping that they will sprout, producing more branches, and eventually more flowers. The part I'm cutting off isn't going to waste either. I will be using it for propagation. And soon, it will grow into a new rose plant. <laughs>